After five years, I'm able to travel abroad again and I'd be going to a Middle Eastern country to visit my sister. But I did not bring my paints with me, so I had to buy a new set. Hi, I'm Rema and welcome to my art space. Join me as I explore both art and my artistry here in Doha, Qatar. Just like other countries, Doha does not lack when it comes to offering office and art supplies. That's why I was able to buy a few art tools in a couple of bookstores. What I bought was a set of Marie's gouache paints, which has 12 pieces of paint tubes, a set of Faber-Castell paintbrushes, which includes the numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10 paintbrushes, a small plastic palette, which only costs half a real, and a set of plastic palette knives, which are used to mix paint on the palette. So all of these costs 51.5 reals, that's equivalent to 790 pesos in the Philippines and around $14 in the US. And that's estimate is as of February to 2024. So the prices are nearly the same as those being sold in the Philippines, so I think it's not bad, right? So for my inaugural overseas painting, I painted that set of clothes hanging there on the rack near the window. Gouache is one of the easiest paints that one can travel with. If you're not familiar with gouache, it's similar to watercolor but thicker in consistency. I have here a tutorial on the differences between gouache and watercolor. I eliminated bringing paints abroad because I wanted to travel light. So why continue painting anyway? You can say it's for content, but the truth is, I did not want to put this painting out because I find nothing remarkable here. They're just a set of clothes, and every country has its own clothes rack. There's an IKEA in nearly every country, and having a clothes rack is nothing unique. So why am I painting anyway? It could be for content, but actually, I also want to paint for myself. For practice, maybe. But most of all, to document both my progress and failure. I would like to look back and see how I've grown as an artist, even though it's just a hobby. This, I should say, is better content rather than making distasteful pranks to create controversy. I'm not here for controversy. I'm here for value. This set of clothes and clothes rack may mean nothing to you, but my thoughts are enough to give them value. One day, when I look back at this video, I will remember the memory associated to it. I will remember the cold February weather that I've never felt for a long time. I will remember the sunlight that brightened the place and my heart. I will also remember the family who's been with me during this season. These clothes are a testament of the beauty of the things that are dear to me. And that is precious enough to keep. So I don't have actual painting plans in the coming days, but maybe it could be random, maybe it could be planned, we don't know. What's important is that I'm going to live in the moment while having my vacation overseas. So what do you think of my thoughts? Let me know in the comments. You know, I, I would welcome compliments, but I would even welcome more if you would you know, engage in a way that you have listened to my video and I really appreciate those who do not only watch my video but also um, pay attention to what I'm saying and not only my work.
So if you like my video, please click the like button. And if you're here in my channel for the first time, I invite you to click subscribe and click on the bell button so you would be notified of future videos. Again, my name is Rema and thank you very much for joining me and I hope to see you again in my next art space. Bye! So, ah! Mm. Hey, they say...